Okay. Boom, guys, we're live. My name is Fabian Cordova. Welcome to another traffic training. Today is a really special training because I really want to show you guys how is the, the, basically the Facebook ad launch testing strategies that I use for you guys to really implement so you can have a guideline from now on to start testing your own audiences and, go, and getting ahead with your Facebook advertising. Okay, so yesterday we talked about many, many, many important things, but I really focused at the end of the, of the training in this 10X, this 10X testing formula, which is basically all the interest behaviors and demographics. And I uh, broke down yesterday, what's the best way to find, the, to find those interests? So for those who are not joining us, uh, let me just to share you guys real quick. We were doing an example yesterday where we were basically, uh, you know, selling a dress. So it's a fashion product, and let me see if I can just make sure that everybody can see. So I pre-selected uh, different behaviors, interests, uh, for example, engaged shoppers, party dress, travel dress, uh, shopping and fashion, uh, women's clothing, dresses, fashion accessories, boutiques, online shopping, and shopping. So. The most important thing from this 10x testing formula is the fact that this is just like a normal standard that you can implement in your business, on your store, in your personal brand, whatever. This is just a principle that I created for myself to have structure and basically just have a flow for me to just start launching ads. So um, just go into the 10x testing formula, right? So we're talking about interest, behaviors, and demographics, which is basically what I already showed you on the, um, the detailed targeting on site the ads manager. Uh, some people they just ask you, oh Fabian, do you have a specific rule, a specific number of interests, specific number of demographics, specific number of behaviors? Generally, I go, um, and this is just me. Uh, generally, I test an average of you know uh, five interests, and between behaviors and demographics, this can change, uh, you know, from two to uh, from three to two, uh, three to two here, or it can be two and two, or this can be four and one. But at the end of the day interests and behaviors are the ones that um, have helped me a lot demographics of, co of course you will get to know that specifically if you know once you once you've done your avatar research plus understanding what to whom you're selling to because for example if you're selling to married people or you're selling only to a specific age range this is what's going to help you so at the end of the day i always say 10x because we always want 10 interests and this can be multiplied by two, by three, by four, depending on the type of business you're doing because this is a rinse and repeat type of, of formula because if I was able to find 10 interests and out of those 10 interests, uh, for example, six or five work for me, I have a 50% success rate. And if I need to test more and more and more, I'm gonna look for other 10 interests, behaviors and demographics and rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's the most important thing that you guys need to understand. This is not, oh no, I only tested 10 interests and nothing worked. <laughs> this is where a lot of people just like really fail and this is why I really wanna you know, stick to this and make you guys really understand that launching your first Facebook ad and failing is the most common thing that happens to me, happens to our students, happens to our clients because it's like learning to do 100 pull-ups in one day. It's impossible for you to learn it. You need to learn the technique, the basics, and that's why we're always sharing all this stuff here. So if you're finding all this information valuable, guys, go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com, where you just schedule a call with us or schedule a call with me specifically if you're looking for paid advertisement help. And we can help you guys achieve all this stuff and get everything cleared, mapped out for you guys to start profiting. So again, let's just go to the whiteboard. And once we have our 10 interests, of course, we need to have like a testing basis, which is our, our setup. And generally, I split the 10 interests into two. So I'm gonna have five interests in one campaign and five interests in another campaign. So it would be a total of two campaigns. And I'm gonna go in depth. Uh, I'm gonna erase a little bit of the stuff that I have here so I can really focus on how's the exact a setup that I use for you guys to understand. But the most important thing is that you're never going to test the same, the, all, the, the, all the 10 interests in one campaign. You can do it. Generally, I like to do it differently to, you know, a split, a split test and see what's better out there. I always do A-B uh, AB testing. The reason why it's because I'm always looking for options to find better results. That's the reason. If you don't do split testing, it's going to be really hard. So split testing should be something besides the 10x testing formula 
apply it to your business today, okay? So number three, the campaign budget, which is basically what a lot of people are scared, a lot of people are afraid, um, and this is where I just really need to be super realistic. If you're gonna be running Facebook advertisement, that's gonna be almost your 60 to 80% of the focus of your business because that's how you actually are driving customers, that's how you uh, actually are generating sales, that's how you actually are you know, filling out surveys, generating leads, whatever. That doesn't matter. What really matters is the efficiency from whom is running the Facebook advertising. That's why we're always breaking all this information down for you guys so it can be in bite-sized pieces and at the end of this 30 days, Really, like if you really implement what we have been giving you guys out for free, I know, I know that you will be able to change your game. Really, just really take action upon it. So please just really make sure that when you're talking about budget, you have budget. Generally, for starters, uh, you know, I like to set up campaigns at $5 a day. Uh, there, if you can do it at $10 a day, even better. There are some people that have higher budgets that they can do even $25 a day, which is even better. So generally for starters, the, age, uh, the, the budget advertising for each ad set or interest in this specific case will be $5 each if you have a low budget and if you can, $10 each. So that's why I selected from 50 uh, to $100 per day, testing both 10 interests, right? So doing math, the zoo, so it's $5 a day and this is $10 a day, okay? So that's why if you can do uh, 25, it will be amazing. But this is kind of number one option and this is the second option. Okay, $10 a day. And this is how we get started. And this is um, honestly the most simple budget that we can give you to get you kickstarted. And remember, this is not that you're gonna be spending $50 a day or $100 and losing money. No, at the end of the day, and I'm gonna you know, break this down for you guys so you can understand it. How do you allocate this specific budget to the assets that are working for you to generate more money? So this is not that you're gonna be burning money, losing money, you're, and this is something really important that I just wanna you know, take a second. You are not spending money on Facebook advertising. You're not losing money. You're acquiring data. I'm gonna say it again. You are not wasting money or losing money on Facebook advertising. You are acquiring data. And how do you acquire data? Through the Facebook pixel, through the cost of audiences and all the trainings that I have been talking about. But here, this is where it basically comes into practice, okay? So it's super, super, super important that you don't have that mindset. Oh no, I spent $100 in Facebook advertising and I didn't have any sale. No, wait. You have $100 in data that you acquired, and now you can interpret that data based on all the metrics that we talked about in the past trainings and take actions upon it. If you know that people are just not buying, okay, there are many reasons why they're not buying. It can be offer, it can be price, it can be the ad, it can be that your page load, uh, your page load speed is too high, or you're just not connecting with your audience and people are you know, uh, going to your site, they don't know where to buy, uh, they're not liking the products, the images, etc., etc. But using those metrics, it's the way that you fix those issues. So for example, if your problem is your pricing point, you can lower it, or you can create a bundle of multiple product, of, of same multiple products that you're selling at a cheaper price, and you will, you will be increasing your average order value, your lifetime customer value, and instead of selling one unit, you sold two, three, four, five. So at the end of the day, that's why it's so important that your mindset is, acquiring data on Facebook and learning how to interpret it. Super important, okay? Um, the, th the fourth point, it's the, th the three-day rule. And what do I mean by a three-day rule? You're just gonna let your ads run. It's a three-day rule where you're basically just gonna let your ads run. Yeah, you can go and take a look at them, but please, 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 don't touch your ads for two to three days. Please don't touch them. Why? Because Facebook needs to uh, learn because when you get started or even if you have a current account, Facebook can start getting all that information from you. So within, within 48 hours to 72 hours, you're gonna have results. And this is the exact same moment where you're either going to stop the campaigns, pause some ads, increase budget, or relaunch any of the campaigns that you were running. Again, three days, in three days or 48 hours, 
you're going to be able to learn if you have to stop the campaign, if you have to pause any specific ad set because it's not generating what you're looking for, if you have to increase the budget because now you're generating sales, you're generating leads, you're generating the results that you're liking, and if you have to relaunch because, for example, sometimes campaigns lose the performance from one day to another or within a week they then start dipping. But what happens? Then you duplicate the campaign and rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So that's why the three-day rule with the 10x testing, uh, testing formula, having the right campaign set up plus having the right campaign budget will allow you to have a rule to understand specifically how you need to manage your advertising budget, okay? And last but not least, and the reason why I left it at the end, and again, I'm not talking even about scaling because take that, take that you know, word from, from the conversation, from the call for a second, because you need to do all this stuff. One, two, three, four, five. If you don't go from one to two, from two to three, from three to four, optimization, it's impossible because you need to acquire data. You need to spend money to see which are the pockets of the audiences or the age ranges or the country or the specific time of the day or what specific device or if they, of, of, uh, for example, if you're having cheaper clicks in, in, um, in Facebook than in Instagram or uh, within, for example, the example of the dress that we're selling, and it's say that the age range from 25 to 35 is the one that's gener generating me mo the most of the profit. So those things are the things you need to get, to get clear first before even going to optimize, okay? So again, step one to five, 10X testing formula, you need to five, uh, find at least 10 interests, behaviors and demographics. The number that you will look for, it doesn't matter. The most important part is you have them. And again, like in past uh, trainings, it has to be broad. Uh, if you're finding small interests, try to find more small interests and bundle them together into one sole ad set. So basically you can grow your uh, exposition and of course refresh a lot of creatives so people don't see a lot of the same ad pushing it all over and over, all over again because they're just gonna, they're just not going to take the time to even watch what you're showing to them. They're just gonna scroll. And you don't want that because if people scroll and they don't see the ad, you're losing. Once you have the campaign set up, you go to the campaign budget, which is basically $5 to $10 a day for those who are starting out. If anyone can do a little higher, I'll, I'll definitely uh, you know, recommend you guys to do it because you want to acquire data as fast as possible. That's rule number one. The three day rule, uh, you're just gonna run your ads from three to, I say three days, in two days you, you might get some information, but after the third day you will know if you're like good or, or if you're bad, if you have to pause. So that's why this step, step number four, is really, really important because either you stop, you pause, you increase, or you relaunch any of the campaigns that you have been testing, okay? And once you've done that, once you know that, okay, I have uh, two, three, four interests that are crushing it, okay. They're getting consistent sales. I increase the budget. They're still getting increased uh, number of sales or let's say uh, conversions that I'm looking for. Now I can start optimizing and thinking of optimizing, scaling, wait. Forget about that word because I know that's a, like a, a word that a lot of people just throw in there. Yeah, scaling, 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 scaling. And honestly, people don't know what they're doing when they're talking about scaling because to be able to scale, you have have to go through minimum this five steps and some other steps we're going to be talking about in this future trainings. So again, if you're finding all this information valuable, please go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com so we can definitely help you guys on how to achieve your goals. So let me just, um, please take a picture of this if you're watching this because I'm just going to remove from one, uh, from one to 10 because uh, let me, let me do this. Yeah, so let's remove this so we can keep the first two. So now you can see the, the, the setup. Okay. So let's say that you don't understand how the Facebook, and I'm just going to do a line here so we can just remove this. How does Facebook work? Facebook works from campaign level.
which is basically what we talked about selecting the objective at set it's basically when or where like like in here it's like in here you can come select age ranges you can select the conversion event that you're doing uh, the country, age ranges, gender, interest. This is the part of the ad set, right? So over here you can see the campaign level, ad set level, and ad level. Please remember that because that won't change. And that's something that you have to understand. Campaign level, ad set level, ad level. So campaign level is the objective. Ad set, it's just basically the setup. The setup of the ad, targeting, etc., and the ad, it's basically what you're displaying and you're showing to your audience, right? And at the end of the day, this can be a video, this can be an image, this can be a carousel ad, uh, etc. So this has to be clear campaign, ad set. Add. okay so if this is clear we can go to the next step so I can really help you guys with this stuff okay so we're gonna have campaign one campaign one and we're gonna have campaign two okay so what are we going to do with this campaign? So of course, this can be uh, website conversions, this can be traffic, this can be video views, this can be PPE. Depending on your research, what are you, and this is the exact same thing, okay, website conversions, um, traffic, um, video views, uh, PPE, etc. But what are we doing here? We're gonna have, let me remove this so we don't confuse this. One campaign, two campaign. So remember that we had 10 interests. What are we doing? We're gonna do interest one, interest two, interest three, interest four, interest five. Okay? The same thing for the other campaign. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So really important, all these ad sets are different audiences that you're split testing again, right? Okay, this is clear? So this is coming from the test, the 10 testing formula, interest, behaviors, and demographics. So again, you can select depending on what you're doing, interest, behaviors, and demographics, and I'm going to assume that you already did the research, okay? So what are we going to do? Remember, all these all this ad sets, in this specific case, we can set them at $5 a day, $5 a day, $5 a day, $5 a day, $5 a day. Same thing goes here. Okay. Five, 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 five. So this at the end is spending me $25 a day, all this stuff. Okay, and really, really important, all these ads are pointing to our Facebook ad, right? All this stuff is showing to the Facebook post that you want to say, right? So again, the breakdown is five interests in one campaign, five interests in another campaign, the different interests, remember, this, they have to be separate. So for example, the, the, the one that I show you guys here, this is the way for me to look for them. So you're gonna create an ad set, which women's clothing, then you're gonna create another ad set with dresses, then you're gonna create another ad set with fashion accessories, 
Then you're going to create a new ad set with boutiques. Then you're going to create another, a new ad set with online shopping. And then you're going to create a new interest with shopping. So what we want is to have everything separate pointing to our Facebook ad. So at the end of the day, everything is separate. The audiences are broad. They're separate. And I'm showing this. So for example, after this is day one. Okay. Day two, let's say that, um, say like interest, um, two, three and four got me sales. Okay. They got me money. So let's say that interest, uh, two got, um, three purchases, uh, interest three got one purchase and interest four got us, uh, let's say two purchases. Um, again, we can do the exact same thing. Um, uh, let's go here and this say this interest, let's say number one, got us, uh, four purchases, uh, interest and let's say interest four got us, uh, three purchases. Okay. So what happened here? This is day two, day two. Okay. In day two. Day one, I was generating data, but in day two, I had already interests that are generating me purchases. So let me just divide this. This is day one. Day two. This is day three. Okay, so in day one, I had nothing because it's optimizing. You might get a sale, you might not get a sale. Day two, we got some sales, and let's say in day three, we had interest two, another, uh, let's say two, two purchases, uh, interest three got us one and interest uh, four got us uh, three purchases. Okay. Uh, on the second campaign, let's say that interest one, uh, got us another four purchases. Uh, let's say interest two got us one purchase and interest four got us two purchases. Okay. So this are the data that you're going to be reflecting on your Facebook, right? So again, interest one didn't generate anything for me. So I pause it. Didn't generate any sale or any add to cart or any initiate checkout. Boom. Canceled. Interest two. We got three one day and in day two we had another two. So we have a total of interest two generating me a total of five purchases. Okay. Let's go to interest number three. Interest number three generated me two purchases. Okay. Interest four, we had two and three total of five. Five purchases. In this thing, we saw interest one, four purchases one day, four purchases the other day. So interest one got me a total of eight purchases. Okay. Interest two, uh, the first day, no, the second way, the second day interest two got me one purchase. Interest three, no sales, no add to cards, no nothing. You cut it. Uh, interest four. Okay. Boom. We have four in on the, the first day we got three and the second day we had two. So number four. Interest number four gave me a total of five purchases. Okay. Interest five didn't generate anything. Cut it. Okay. So right now in both of the two campaigns that I was running, I paused some ads. The ones that did, oh, and over here, I almost forgot number five paused because it's not generating us any money. So from the 10 interests that we tested, five generated us money. So we want to keep an eye on those. 
Because for example, this one generated us, let me just change color here real quick, Let's see if color blue works. So which were the ones that generated us the most amount of money? Okay, from the second campaign, interest number four and interest number one with eight. Uh, and the second campaign, interest number four got us five purchases and interest number two got us also five purchases. So out of those five, we have four interests that we know they're working for us, they're generating us leads, they're generating us purchases, they're generating us everything. And basically this is how you start understanding on a three day, like three day formula, how to make sure that this is addressed and just making stuff to really work. So again, this is just really simple. After three days, you check how many purchases you got and you focus in the ones that are actually generating you uh, the most amount of profit, guys. So this, I just wanted to make this example super easy, super fast for you guys just because I really want to break down because now we're really getting into subject on how to launch the Facebook advertising. So again, thank you so much for your time. This is just like a little training, a little breakdown. And if you're finding all this information valuable, please, I recommend you to go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. We really want to help you guys. But the most important part, we want you guys to be set for success. This is just like a little rant that I had. We can talk about this for days. And if you really want our help, we can, we can get it for you. Just again, go schedule a call with Sebastian. And if you like it, fine. If you don't like it, we, we, we just really want, want to wish you the best. And this is the reason why we're doing all this stuff for you guys. Because even though if it's free training, all this information is super valuable. And you know, I never had this information valuable at the time when I was starting out. So this is just a way to give you guys all the opportunities to avoid finding excuses, to avoid finding circumstances in life that don't allow you to go or to get where you really want to be in life. So guys, thank you so much. My name is Fabian Cordova and see you on another training. Pura vida.